friends, it's good to see you here today. I'm so excited that you're back with us and we have another part of our lesson we've been learning about. Do you remember who we've been learning about? It's a very special lady in the Bible. Do you remember? You do? What's her name? That's right. We've been learning about Queen Esther and she was brave and she served others in love. Yes, I know. That's our memory verse. We have it up here. Serve one another in love. And yes, I'm, I'm getting there. I'm getting there. So friends, I don't remember if you listened last week, but we talked about how Queen Esther was planning a banquet. A banquet is a big party and a lot of people come and if they have dinner and they're served and she was planning one for her king so that she could ask him to please stop someone's evil plan to kill some pure people and so that was what we were talking about with the placemats was preparing because she had to prepare for the banquet she was preparing for it and so we asked if you guys wanted to make a placemat and so Travis made one. Oh, okay. He says he's not quite done with it yet. What what are you going to do? That looks pretty cool to me. I like it. Oh, he's going to add some more color. That sounds like an awesome idea. He's did a looks like you just did a bunch of hearts in in, in white and you're going to add color. Oh, sparkles. Okay. He's got some sparkly crowns. He's going to add some color to it. And then friends, afterwards, we can cover it in some plastic because I know Travis, and if you guys are like him at all, sometimes things spill. Yes, your sticky honey, honey does spill and then these, it'll be easier to wipe. And you can get contact paper and cover it with contact paper. It's just a sheet of sticky plastic. You can get it at the store and it'll protect it so that you can actually eat your meals on it. That's what a placemat is for. It's a, spe a special spot just for your stuff when you're eating. And it's kind of cool because this one reminds you of our memory verse, serve one another in love, which is what Queen Esther did. She took who she was, she was the queen, and she used it for good. She went into the king when other people couldn't, and she asked him to please save her people from the evil plan that one of the guys had to kill her people. And she, yeah, she was, she was very brave. She was brave and she stood up for what was right. And she used her um, position because she was queen. She used her position because she was pretty powerful, but the king was even more powerful, but she used what God had given her and where God had put her, she used it to serve others in love. She didn't use it just to sit there and be a queen and not do anything good for others. She used it to serve others in love. I, you, I do, I see that Travis has the heart bucket. He's got something in his heart bucket. Should we see what it is? We should, okay. Oh my goodness. This is Travis's heart bucket. But sometimes he has something that he wants to share but it won't fit just inside his little heart pocket. Yeah, he's got to have a big bucket to put it in. Sh should I take that out? Yes, oh my goodness, friends, look at that. That is pretty cool. Well, it's a lantern, you guys can see that. He's got a little lantern, and can I ask why you have the lantern? Oh, okay, I'm gonna turn the bucket upside down, see if we can put the lantern, oh, it does, you can still see it. Oh, there's the bucket doesn't tip over, I know and the wall, everything's falling down on us, it's okay. Um, but that is because Esther, when she was brave, and when you're brave and you do something to show love to others, serving others in love, especially when it's unexpected, it's like a light. It's like you're shining your light in the darkness because Friends, it's not dark in here, but if it were really, really dark outside or in your bedroom at night and you had this lantern, this lantern would shine so nice and bright. And sometimes in the world, there's so much 
it just seems like there's not just kind people doing things that are good. And when you do something in love and you serve others, it's kind of like this lantern, huh? You're like, wow, look at that. That's something bright, something beautiful. It's unexpected. Kind of like if your mom or dad or your grandma shows up. I know, yeah. It, grandma sh showed up with some fish. He likes salmon. And it was unexpected. It's an unexpected treat, an unexpected surprise. It's like, wow, you served somebody in love. You did something unexpected and loving and kind. And it's like that bright light. So if you have had, ever had that, where, gosh, somebody shows up and they do something and you just weren't expecting it. You didn't deserve it. You didn't do anything for it. You, they just did it for you because they were showing God's love. It's like a bright light in the darkness. Oh, it's true. He's, <laughs> should we try and sing it? Um, we'll give it a try. A few guys reminding him of a song and I'm going to give it a shot. And maybe you guys know it and it's a fun little song. It goes like this. You got to put one finger up. You got to pretend it's your light, huh? Yeah. This little light of mine, I'm going to let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm going to let it shine, let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. There's a, a lot of verses to that song. You could probably look it up. And it's a fun song that just reminds you that you have a light. You have a light inside. You have a light. Jesus is your light. And you can let his light shine and you can let his love shine. And one way that you can do it is by serving others in love. And it's great when it's unexpected and they just, the people just go, wow, what was that? Why would they do that? And you could say, because Jesus, Jesus loves you. And I'm serving others in love. Use what God gave us to serve one another in love. I would love to see pictures if some of you've made placemats. You can even have your mom or dad or a, a older brother or sister, whoever can help you write the memory verse on it. And that way you can even think about it and talk about it at your meal times. Think about ways you can serve others in love. All right, guys, I hope you have an amazing week and we will see you next week. Take care. Bye.